What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And today we have something that I think a lot of people are interested in, Ryzen 7 gaming while streaming. This was something that AMD touted with the Ryzen launch that basically since their CPU has more cores, more threads, it's a better solution than the technology that currently exists with Intel if you want to game and stream at the same time. Now, as far as for the kind of technical aspects of this, I've linked the Linus Tech Tips review on this subject below, as obviously they are much, much more qualified to go over that than I am. But as far as with the idea for this video, I want to give a shout out to Metal Riot. I've only been posting for about 30 days and my channel has continued to grow. I get jacked on every new subscriber, but he was one of the first. And so for you, Metal, I wanted to do this video. Now, I will say you wanted me to do the 720p for the stream and 3500 bitrate in OBS. Now, I did 3500 bit, but I did 1080p because it puts more stress on the CPU. And you'll be happy to note that there is no quality loss. You should have no problem doing 720p. We're going to go over some of the specs and then we're going to get into benchmarking. Now, in total, there were five games tested Battlefield 1, CSGO, Dota 2, GTA 5, and Overwatch. These are all heavily played games that are also streamed at the same time and played typically at a competitive level, except for GTA 5, although there are lots of Let's Plays and again, I had a fan request. Now all these games were recorded in 1440p or 1080p and streamed simultaneously in 1080p. The encoder setting was X264 with the DX11 as the renderer. The bitrate was 3500 with the CPU preset of fast as again, I wanted to push the system. Now as far as for my rig, I'm rocking a Ryzen 1700X overclocked to 3.8 GHz, it's a little higher but I don't count the points after, 16 GB of DDR4 RAM overclocked to 2400, an ASUS 370 Crosshair Hero motherboard with a GTX 1080 superclocked. The monitor used to record was the Predator 1440p IPS G-Sync gaming monitor at 165Hz. Now all that tech talk is good, but if a picture is worth a thousand words, then surely a video is worth more, so without any further ado, let's watch some benchmarks.
possible. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I do apologize for the 1440p segment of Dota 2. It was perfectly smooth when I streamed and recorded and then as soon as I got it uploaded I got the issues with jitter. I wanted to include it though because I think that was a problem with OBS and it might be something that others experience with the same settings. So just in case you do, wanted to show that as well. Now, I got higher FPS in every game at 1440p. It's not super surprising because Ryzen single core performance does lag behind Intel currently at the highest levels. And as far as when you go to 1440p, you're putting more stress on the GPU and less on the CPU. However, I think that the results speak for themselves. If you notice, there was zero quality loss. All games were able to play at 60 FPS almost every single one. And ultimately, I think that this demonstrates that AMD wasn't lying. This is a great solution. You can game and stream without losing anything in the mix, especially on higher settings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like, get subscribed, leave me a comment, and if you want to see more Ryzen testing or something that wasn't shown in this video, we hope to see you next time here on Geared Inc.